But now's the worst part is saying goodbye to Sonny. Everybody's Sunny. taking turns hugging him on the way to the airport. I sure do hate goodbyes. I'm grateful that I've had a little bit of extra time with him, but we're now getting ready to go drop him off. loves exploring and adventuring so much, I sure do hate goodbyes. Elise explained it so beautifully today. She said it's kind of like a teeter-totter. We're sad to leave and everyone here is sad we're leaving, but everyone in Kansas City is excited we're coming. And we're excited to get there, like it goes back and forth and back and forth. Sad to leave and happy to go, but man, it's a hard day. So Sunny and I are here at the airport and a lot has happened over this last week. We finished moving everything. The pod got picked up and it's now in storage. With moving away from the rental we were in, we had to clean up the whole house. And so it's clean and ready to go. But now's the worst part is saying goodbye to Sunny. I'm flying him to our friends that have agreed to watch him during this year that we're gone. We weren't filming when the kids said goodbye to Sonny, but everyone was in tears. We're just gonna miss him so much. I'm grateful that I've had a little bit of extra time with him, but we're now getting ready to go drop him off. This is the brand new Kansas City Airport. This is so nice. I know. This is so big. I know. It doesn't. It doesn't. It feels like we're totally the Atlanta. Different. So what? What is this? Right? <laughs> no, we're we're home. Well, we're in Kansas City. Yeah, Which because like second home. Home is wherever mom and dad and you guys are. There's an Auntie Anne's pretzels. I love those places. Long days of moving, and then flying are not my favorite. But seeing our friends at the end of the day is, and all we have to do now is get our baggage and head to our Airbnb. I'm really excited about the Airbnb. It is this cute, historic house. Oh, can't wait till you guys get to see it. That was the easiest baggage claim I've ever experienced. It's already done. That we just like walked up and it was like the first three suitcases. We're like, boom, we got it. Oh my cuteness. This is adorable. Is there a little bench? There's a little bench and a little mailbox. There's a bell. Doorbell. It's old-fashioned. It's all, okay, show me what's in here. Oh, this is adorable. <laughs> Look at this refrigerator. Oh my goodness, it's stocked. Oh, there is so much excitement. There's a really cute desk with a really cute license. You can sleep here, I'll sleep Oh, this is so there. sweet. Okay. Sunny and I have arrived in Vegas, and for lunch, I'm going to Jack in the Box. I loved their tacos growing up, and I couldn't find it very often in Kansas City, and it's not in Puerto Rico yet. I've been craving them, I'm excited. Let me know in the comments, do you like Jack in the Box tacos? I know a lot of people think they are gross but I love them. I don't know what they're made out of, but it's fried goodness. We got in late last night and we settled into our Airbnb. It is this darling historic home close to the downtown in this little suburb of Kansas City. 
It was built in 1880, and I am just in love with all of the details of this place. It's really old, and it has this really fun little piano, and this really fun little call thingy that's fake. A telephone? Yeah, old. What's your favorite thing about this house? That I got to sleep with mom last night. You did get to sleep with me last night. The first thing our family noticed is that the door opens in, which is totally normal, but weird for us coming from Puerto Rico. This is a real record player. And it's got, they've got a whole bunch of records in here. I'm kind of scared to touch it. Over here, there's a tiny, tiny, they said the littlest bathroom in the world. It's just a little tiny bathroom. I love the exposed brick. It's one of my favorite features of any home. I love antiques and old houses, but my favorite thing about them is imagining the history in them. Like someday, 143 years ago, a family moved into this house and it was brand new and they were so excited. And during that time, like how many Christmases and birthdays have happened in this home? Like how many exciting moments and, and tears have been shed? Like this house has seen so much and I love being in that kind of an environment. This is our friend, Curious. You found a friend? Yeah, I found him and then I showed it to Janae. Now it's our friend. Ours. Right. Well, and you named him Curious? Curious, yeah, because he's very curious. What is he? But he never dies. He's a roly poly. See, he rolls up into a ball. Yeah. Roly poly. Come he's on now. Roly poly. I know you like me, but we have to let you go. Oh, you're going to let him go? Yeah. Yeah, because he's not going to. He's gonna die if he lives with us. Yeah, so you're gonna let him go? Yeah, let's go find a good spot for him. Oh. Was it heavy? Oh. Must be. Oh my goodness! Are you gonna go down there? Yeah. Can I come down? Do you wanna see what's down there? Oh my goodness. This is so crazy. I like it. Look at this. Oh my goodness. I love how brave and curious the kids are. Like, I saw that, and I was like, mm, I don't want to know what's down there. And Caleb just explores and figures it out. It sometimes terrifies me, though. They're pretty great. So we have about an hour drive ahead of us, so I wanted to bring Sonny out to a park. I'm glad he's getting to just roam. It's not easy to be cooped up for that many hours, so he's just exploring, having fun. And then we'll hop in the road and head to the family that's going to be taking him. While we're here, I'll eat my Jack in the Box tacos. Since we're right next to downtown, we can just walk in to have breakfast this morning and we're going to one of our favorite breakfast spots, which is Ginger Sue's. So Jeremy used to work in that building as a lawyer and we've been to many a parades on this path. So our family has been coming to Ginger Sue's for years and years and years. How long have we been coming here? Since we moved here. So since you were like two years old. Luckily, have a really delicious omelet and their potatoes are gluten free. Today, we are going to Science City. It's been a while since we've been there, and Elise is out of camp, so we're going with some friends and cousins. I remember taking these kids places when they were little. Now they're like mostly taller than me. Oh, it's so beautiful. I love coming to Union Station. There's a lie detector test. Dun, dun, dun. Shock or not? Did you get shocked? Yeah. But I I don't like getting shocked. Mommy, I don't that feel makes pain. me really nervous. <laughs> I got shocked. <laughs> Did it surprise you? to get the ball to fall through the maze. Good job! You did it! That was a lot of work. Sonny is loving getting a tummy rub. He can tell something's up though. I went to the door to just go grab something and he was kind of freaking out. You're gonna love it here, buddy. With all of our families moving and changes, one thing I love about coming back to Kansas City is I always feel like we have roots. Like, we have memories here. We've come here over the last decade or so and seen it change over time, and so it feels nostalgic and connected to me, and I love that about our time in Kansas City. It reminds me that my kids do have roots. We're just not always there. This game is super hard. 
called bottle balance and you're supposed to pull these up. And it's really tough. Oh, oh, almost. This is a fun area. Janae's cleaning it off. Laura wrote her name backwards. So this is a new area. There's like these trains the kids can play in. This is apparently the dining car. They've got a kitchen. They're gonna be serving me up some food. Wonderful service here. Oh my goodness, these are awesome. Wow. That's so cool. We sent a caller that has an air tag to help track him and then his name and phone number of the people who are going to be watching him is on here. Do you want a new one? Yeah. Good for you. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. There you go. We have been going to this dentist for so many years. I think Isaac was two years old when we started coming here. Isaac, I think you outgrew our dentist. <laughs> There's lots of memories here, and my kids love the dentist. I think that's a sign of a really good dentist. Good job, Nene. What kind of toothpaste did you choose? Cookie dough. That's fun. I bet that feels good after braces. <laughs> I can like see the nervousness on your face. I just don't want a cavity. What you watching? You wanna? Ooh, what kind of toothpaste did she choose? Cookie dough. Cookie dough? The it's moment of truth. Do your teeth feel so clean? Yeah. What's the verdict? No cavities. Yes! We're at the happiest place on earth, the library. Look at us go! <laughs> That's a fun one. These are ones you can read. Oh, we love Gordon Corman. Ah, <gasps> the secret garden. Oh, that's beautiful. Janae, see it says animals. So now you're in the animal section. I actually found books. They're from the cookie section. Nice. Janae can read this year. How fun is that? Laura's discovering the graphic novel section. I love graphic novels. They're really fun, aren't they? Yeah. You can't get a lion, says author keeper. Otter keeper. Otter keeper. A lion is too scary. Well, I left Sunny out back playing, and it's so hard to say goodbye, but I know he's in good hands. He's gonna have a ton of fun, and we're gonna miss him so much. Good night. Do us out. I totally had a panic attack yesterday. So today our neighborhood is having a pet appreciation day. Our storage pod is just arriving. Today's the day I'm getting my braces off. He's really getting dirty. 